All right, guys, today I'm so excited to show you a new feature that we've just released in Thrive Architect. So we've added an advanced jump link functionality, which allows you to add these anchor links like never before. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add such a link on a blog post using a text and then using a button inside a smart landing page. How's it going, people? My name is David from Thrive Teams, and let me show you how this feature works inside a blog post. So what we want to do basically is create a link, place it on a text, and when the visitor clicks on that link, he's sent somewhere else on the same page. But we're going to do that in a nice way, you know, using a smooth uh, animation and all that stuff. So the place where we want to place the link is this right here, right? We say that just like in the case of situation three, so we have multiple situations uh, on this blog post, and when uh, the visitor clicks on this, he'll be sent to situation three, okay? So here's how to do this. You have this panel here that shows up whenever you're editing a text element. We'll click on this link option and we'll select jump link. OK, we'll select smooth animation because it's a really, really cool feature. And then we'll click on select target. So this means that you select where you want the visitor to be sent after he has selected uh, the actual jump link. So we'll uh, select this target. So situation three and, you know, click on it as simple as that and then simply click on add jump link right over here and that's it right that's how easy it is to create a jump link uh, using a text element inside a blog post now let's see how uh, you know he interacts with this jump link so i'm the visitor you know i'm reading really fast on this blog post and i come across this i click it and look how smooth this animation is that sends me back to the situation three. Okay, so that's how easy it is to apply it uh, on a text. And you can use it, you know, on a blog post, wherever you want on any text element in Thrive Architect. Now, scenario number two, we're on a smart landing page in Thrive Architect. And by the way, if you haven't watched the video about smart landing pages, I recommend you check it out. I put a link on the screen right now. Go see it. It's awesome. So basically what we want to do on this page is link this button here to the bottom of the page. And at the bottom of the page, actually right here, we're going to add a pricing table. So look how easy that is to drop in a pricing table right here. And now when the visitor will click on this button, he'll be sent to the pricing table. So let's set that up. We'll click on the button. And right here you have this uh, area called button link, right? You have two options. We'll select Select this anchor icon okay and we'll also select smooth animation because we like that and uh, we'll click on select target and basically again scroll down at the bottom of the page and select the pricing table and then click on add jump link and there we have it now I'm the visitor I'm on this landing page and I see this button I want to get started so I click on it look how smooth that animation was. I'm sent to the bottom of the page where I have this pricing table. So as you can see, it works very easily with buttons as well. Now, what happens with your uh, existing jump links? You know, because in Thrive Architect, you could have added jump links before, but it was a bit of a complicated process. You know, you had to enter IDs and all that stuff. So what happens to those jump links, right? How can you modify them or how can you, you know, manage them? So we'll go back to our blog post right here. And here, this is you know an older blog post and on one of these content boxes I actually added a jump link before so is this one right here and as you can see it is right here I can uh, simply click on the target which is basically this text right here and it basically gets me to the actual target that I have added you know beforehand in Thrive Architect you know and now I can leave it as it is I can remove the target I can modify the target so if I click on modify target I can simply select different place on the same page where I want the visitor to be sent so as you can see even existing jump links can be very easily managed 
And that gets me to my last point. As you could have seen in this video, you can add jump links on text elements, on buttons, and you can also add them on content boxes as well, right? For example, this content box is not linked to anything. You only have to go to the sidebar, uh, you know, enable this option right here, select the anchor, you know, and just like in the case of the button, you can apply a jump link to whatever uh, section of the page you want. For now, these are the elements on which the uh, jump link functionality works, but in the near future, we're going to add it on other Thrive Architect elements as well. For example, the custom menu element is already in the works to receive uh, this feature and you will be able to add, you know, jump links on the menu item. So, you know, very easy when your visitor will click on a certain item on the menu, he'll be sent somewhere else uh, on that page wherever you send him to. And that's about it for this video. I really hope you enjoy this new feature. I know that a lot of you guys have requested it, you know, along with the smooth animation, but you could have seen that, that works pretty well. Now, to use this feature and also to use the smart landing pages, you could have seen uh, how cool they look. And if, again, you haven't seen them, don't forget to check out the video for them as well. But, you know, in order to use all of these, don't forget to check out Thrive Architect. I've put a link in the description of this video because it's really an awesome tool that keeps getting better and better. So definitely go and check it out. And with that being said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to Thrive Themes on YouTube because we've got some amazing videos coming up, you know, both on new features that we're going to release and more instructional videos on different topics to help you build a truly conversion focused website for your business. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.